What's happening, folks? Mark Julien, theapartmentnerd.com. Um, wanted to share with you something interesting uh, I, I found on Facebook last night. There is a, uh, a local bar, Howl at the Moon. I believe it's a chain kind of across the nation. Um, piano bar. At any rate, the, uh, the manager of the one in Indianapolis is from Baltimore. And this weekend is the Indianapolis Colts, Baltimore Ravens playoff game here in Indy. And he is advertising that he's opening up early, that he's going to be supporting uh, any Ravens fans that are in town or any Ravens. And I, I think, hey, you know what? Good for him. Where the guy went wrong, and th this all came out on social media, it came out on, online and on the web, and now there is a Facebook page, and I'll share the link with you here, boycotting Howl at the Moon in Indianapolis. But where the guy made the mistake, I think it would have been fine for him to be like, hey, Ravens fans, um, we're having a, you know, opening up the bar for you to come in town. Uh, most of the other bars will be, uh, you know, loaded and packed with Colts fans, yada, yada. We're from Baltimore. Where he went wrong is he basically decided to start slamming Indianapolis Colts fans and tailgate parties and the fact that everybody hangs out at bars and, you know, before the games and things like that. And then the, the tailgating stinks and, of course, just kind of smashing some things. So somebody went out and created Boycott Howl at the Moon website on Facebook, and in a day it has over 2,000 fans. So here's something that can happen on social media that was not planned. It's not necessarily, I don't think, a PR nightmare. It will go away. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But two things happen here. One, this guy's created attention for Howl at the Moon, and he didn't necessarily need to do so. I don't think it's going to create a complete negative experience for him, but that kind of happened, not necessarily from a marketing perspective. And then secondly, um, this is just an example of you do not control what people are going to do or say online, and your best defense is just to know what the heck's going on, know what's going on on Facebook, know what's going on on different social media channels, because when somebody does say something, you're prepared to monitor it, you're prepared to see. You know, if I'm the Howl at the Moon franchise chain, I at least want to know what's going on. I don't necessarily think this is going to kill my brand, but I want to know. And uh, it'd be interesting to see if they even do know what's going on. So, thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll uh, talk to you soon.